the infrastructure would me personally be an, an enthusiast for silos uh, I heard at one time they were considering the Titan 2 basis for MX or Peacekeeper would I that rather would make sense. Yeah, yeah, would, okay. would I rather seen the site stay active and still active that that would have been awesome I mean it would have sucked for people like you that can actually own one and the people that I would have much rather seen them stay active than go decrepit and the earth take them back and flood and that's just a bummer to well, me. Well, I think I think the other thing is 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 Bryce is the amount of look. I worked I worked a long time with the United States Army Corps of Engineers and with the environmental testing companies. Uh-huh. They were the subcontractors to the Corps. I mean, look, there's a lot of nasty things that were done at these first generation sites and it certainly was not done by the contractors nor was it done by the United States Air Force I will tell you that right okay. now can we really identify who did it well we've got some basic ideas but I mean some sites are pretty well I mean take Bradshaw Texas the Atlas F site there yeah I know what they call the chemical when you a chemical that they use to remove the plating you know the 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 heavy metal the the you know like like gold plating like sterling silver right things like that you know removing the precious metal off of the object well the byproduct of that is pretty caustic what do they do they throw it in the bottom of the silo yeah that, that's so no problem it'll hold it yeah when I, when I just the, the the Bradshaw video I just or maybe the he, the other guy mentioned Bradshaw and he said yeah the tractor trailers would drop it in there and it's 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 destroyed it i mean i guess it's full of caustic material but how do you uh, you can't come back i have some that. early shots of where i went to military school a, a gentleman he graduated after me i don't know him but i mean i i learned about him but at school i didn't know him um he sent me his dad knew the owner uh-huh. before it was turned into the toxic dump right. and i have some of the nicest photographs oh Man. my god i mean it was beautiful absolutely beautiful sight and just you know you're just like going wow um i don't know what to say to that i mean you know of all of the that side of it and then the other thing is you know but i mean in retrospect i mean let's talk about the tce contamination the trichloroethylene right uh, you know, I mean, look, it's like asbestos. Asbestos was used in America clear into the late 70s. That's oh, yeah. nothing new. I mean, I mean, it's like, okay, so TCE was used as a degreaser. I, 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 lots of it. In fact, it's still being used by a lot of the dry cleaning industry. I, you know, it is what it is. So I don't know. Um, you know, can we, can it, I can tell you this from the work that I did with the 579 sites, that I went in and got signed affidavits uh, from a lot of the maintenance personnel, because none of the technical orders or the manuals are, are around. I can't find any of the original records that came out of Walker, because once Walker was, sh- was shut down in July 67, basically the bulk of that was tossed. Okay. Um, yes, the unit histories were kept there at Maxwell Air Force Base at the Air Force Historical Research Center. But, I mean, I've gone around and around with even them. 
right. trying to get stuff. President uh, George uh, W. Bush, I mean, he released tons and tons of documents. But again, what you're looking at is he, um, if it's an active, if it deals with a nuclear weapon, it's... It stays classified. And the problem that we're encountering is what I'm just about to tell you. The folks that can declassify it, Bryce, are no longer with us. Right. Yes, okay? kind, of, kind of ostracized. That's, that's the catch-22 we're starting to play now. Because I'm just like going, I'm, I can't tell you how many times. I got the chief engineer a lieutenant general of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. I mean, he, they're putting pressure on the Air Force. Release some of these documents so we can see what's going on. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, for the happen, most, for, for the general population, I mean, maybe local of these sites, the people know about them, but the general population has no idea what an Atlas F is. If there was any <laughs> Atlas F, they may know about Minutemen or these things that are stuck in the ground and they'll fire off whenever you need them to, whenever the president says to, but as a general consensus, they, have, they don't know what a missile silo is. Or well, I get a kick out of it. We lost three of our 12 sites to right. you know, propellant loading exercising accidents right, with liquid oxygen. Okay? You don't realize how many times I still get asked, Oh my God, one of those sites, there has to be a lot of that plutonium just lying <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. And I'm like, they're clueless. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. After all these 60 years, <laughs> bless her hearts. <laughs> you know, you're, exactly. you can't really get mad because it's just simply a lack of edge. You know, it's just ignorance. It's yeah. just that simple. Straight ignorance. <laughs> You know, it's not that they're stupid. They're just, it's just an absolute lack of, of, they don't have the knowledge. And I like to think that for all the time before the internet came out, maybe, maybe, no, maybe the very minority amount of people knew about those Roswell explosions when Damascus came around and then there was oh, new, news on the TV and then uh, Bill Clinton was the, uh, governor and all that that sort of exposed it all or, or made it a, uh -huh. made it a big deal and maybe that brought it to the forefront of the security of well i think you know people wanted answers when all of a sudden you had a warhead that goes flying 750 feet away from the silo which was a live warhead yeah okay i mean it's a testament to how we put them together I give a lot of credit to that. I mean, I know it sounds scary. Please don't get me wrong. And I don't take it lightly. I'm not being facetious when I talk about this way. But right. it's the other thing is a lot of our safety precautions, they've worked. Exactly. Okay. Um, it did what we had designed it, our folks designed it to do. Yeah. And, you know, I was sorry to see that, okay, that was the beginning of the end of the Type yeah. 1 program. Yes, yeah, it's a shame. Because over the next 10 years, you know, you saw it. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, it goes the way of the dodo. Yeah. So I was like, okay. I mean, um, Titan 2 are sitting second generation, but they still, the concept, oh, absolutely. The concept was because, still there. Well, here's how close it was. I mean, we've got the Arizona sites starting within six months of the Roswell sites. Right. In Plattsburgh, the right. last squadron. Yeah. I, I mean, so this idea, it was so overlapped. I mean, what a lot of people don't realize is that during the Cuban Missile Crisis in October of 62, I mean, we had the first flight of 10 Minutemans. It we call crazy. it the ace in the hole. Yeah, I mean, it's still called that. It's crazy to think about. Kennedy knew it, but Khrushchev didn't, and that's why it was used. I mean, we were already at the time, you know, the special report that was released by the U.S. military, of course, to President Kennedy as the commander-in-chief of, of America's armed forces. Site 4 is mentioned in it as coming online right. because it identifies everyone of the missiles 
as they're, uh, where they are in this whole sequence of events. Right. And, and it was just interesting to see at the same time, here we've got Psy-4 coming online in late October 1962. At the same time, we've already got the first flight of 10 Minutemen going at Maelstrom. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. I mean, I, at one time, every, uh, not division, but every...